Hi, Year 3. Welcome to today's spelling lesson. Uh, this is the last one with me this week uh, before you are looking at um, the um, non-negotiable spellings with Mrs. Weston tomorrow. So just a quick rewind to um, homophones. What is a homophone? What can you remember? Are there any homophones that you can um, shout to me, the ones that we've been doing previously? Okay, so hopefully you will have remembered that a homophone is, uh, they are words that are spelt differently. They have different meanings, yet they sound the same. So it's quite often they get muddled up within our writing. So um, just important to make sure that we are using the correct one. Okay, so let's have a rewind to these homophones that we've been looking at our spellings for this week. So we have got peace or peace. So we've got peace, P-I-E-C-E, -E, um, is portion of an object by putting it or break it. So I've got an example of a jigsaw puzzle with pieces. Or we've got peace, spelled P-E-A-C-E, -E, which is um, freedom from disturbance or a state of no war. Okay. Our next pair are meat or meat. Um, so we've got meat, M-E-A-T. So it's the flesh of an animal that's used for food. So I've got some pictures of um, meat there for you to remind you. And we've got meat spelled M-E-E-T. So to come into the presence of or company of somebody or to assemble for a purpose, for example, a meeting. Okay, the next pair are grown or grown. So we've got grown, G-R-O-W-N. So that's to develop by increasing in size or changing physically. But I've got a picture of some flowers that are growing there. Um, and we can see the one that has grown um, at the end. And I have grown, G-R-O-A-N. Um, there is a picture of someone crying because they've stubbed their toe. So it's a deep sound showing pain, despair or pleasure. And our final pair are seen or seen. So I've got seen, S-W-E-N, um, and I've got some eyes there to remind you that that's C. Um, or I've got seen, S-C-E-N-E, -E, and that's a place or a setting. So yesterday we were looking, well, Tuesday we were looking at words within words to help us remember them. Yesterday we were looking at the link, so it could be the, the difference of the letters, um, within them that help us to link to something else. So hopefully you've got your posters that you can use for this lesson. What we are going to do today is we are going to apply um, our words at sentence level. So we've been looking at them at word level, um, the meanings of the words, um, how we can try and remember which one to use at the right time. But now we are going to apply that into our sentences and we are going to do it as sentence level. So you are going to use the resources that you have created this week to help you to write your own sentences. So we're going to create your, create your own sentences using these words. It is important that you use these words because these are the ones that you're going to be tested on on Monday. So it is making sure that we are um, remembering the meaning and um, how to spell the words. So we've got grown, peace, grown, peace, meet, seen, and meet, seen. Obviously you can use your resources. Um, that you created yesterday in order to help you with the meanings, the definitions of those, to write your sentences. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to take you to my camera. So hopefully I can share. So I'm just going to model what on to. So the first thing that we will do is to write the date. So we always write our full date if it is um, an English or a spelling. We only use the short date when it is a maths lesson. So my full date is Thursday the 4th of February. So I'm going to write that at the top. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to write eight sentences. I have eight spellings, so I would like eight sentences. Okay, so we're going to write eight sentences um, to include all of our spellings. I'm not going to write the eight, I'm only going to model a few for you, um, but it's just so that you can understand what we're doing. So I'm going to pick my first one, so I'm going to do scene, mm, and I'm linking that to the crime scene because it has a C in it. Um, so I'm going to write number one, the police, were 
at the scene of a I'm going to make sure I put my full stop at the end. I'm going to leave a line and I'm going to write number two. So number two is um, I ate a piece of chocolate. Then I'm going to leave a line and I'm going to write number three, mm, grown, okay. Um, the sunflowers have grown since the last time I um, checked them. And I would leave a line, go to number four. Okay, so I'm not going to do them all. Um, that was just to give you an example of, of what I mean, um, so that you know what you are doing. Um, and it is now over to you to create eight sentences um, to include those eight spellings. Um, and once you've done that, please share them with us on Dojo Portfolio. So Okay, then I uh, look forward to seeing those on Dojo and I will also see you. Bye.